This tank literally has everything from, you know, wood to rocks, you know, gravels to, you know, statues that I did made out of clay. But, you know, obviously, you know, killed and in high temperature and some, some live plants. These are all live plants, actually. And then a bunch of plastic as well. That's a plastic. And they are plastic, too. But, you know, people who start this hobby off and doesn't know too much about it, they wonder and ask if they can actually just get gravels and sand and pieces of wood from the campgrounds or, or the wood. Because people would wonder. And that's, I, I did the same thing. I was wondering... Why do I have to go to the pet, pet store to buy all of these when I can find it literally in front of my front yard? I can just grab it and put it in the water. Isn't that what you guys do? But you know, here's the thing. If you want to put whatever you want in there, you can literally put whatever you, you want in there. Like cell phone, chair, well, your pillow, anything in there. You know? And you would wonder why your fishes die in those tanks. That's exactly the reason why you don't get these from the wildlife. Because first of all, I mean, you definitely can. I, I don't condone it or recommend it, but you definitely can. And I, for one, these rocks aren't from pet stores. The gravel is, but not the rocks. All of these rocks are from actually the backyard of my friends. And he, she just gave it to me because, you know, she has a bunch of rocks. So I, I however, made, made sure to treat them. So in order to treat these guys, um, this is actually one way to save save some money uh, when you're doing aquatic hobby like like me if you have this many tanks in your in your room and whatnot you you spend a lot of money on decoration and for this one this is like the main tank that I have that's why I wanted to make sure that it looks like this but if you bring those rocks from the wild from your front yard or backyard or wherever you want to treat it and medicate it properly. So these guys, I made sure to boil it in hot water for about three hours and then I medicated it with proper medications and then just let it sit there for 24 hours. And then I cool it, cool it down with tap water, you know, have that water running in a bucket and these guys um, are basically free of germs and bacteria. And as you can tell, these fishes have no problem swimming amongst it, you know. They, they, they do perfectly fine um, with these rocks and these decorations. But if you're not too like familiar with how to treat these wildlife rocks, gravels, and pieces of wood, I don't recommend it. Because trust me, it'll cost you way more money to fix this whole thing up again than to buy the proper item. When I started this hobby, I made sure to buy and read all the things that I, I was going to put in in my fish tank because I honestly didn't start this hobby with a lot of money. I started with a couple of bucks, you know. I started with two 10 gallon tanks and a couple of guppies from the pet store. So when you start, you wanna, you wanna make it look cool and everything and you have rocks in the backyard, you wanna bring it in, in, in your uh, fish tank, but you have to make sure that those items are properly sanitized and medicated. So I don't personally recommend those wild stuff. Same as pieces of wood. I think the wood would be the most difficult thing to treat. Um, you can honestly, you can just boil this, but then the longer you boil, the the more brown your water will get. And it's called tenon. They produce something called tenon, and these tenons are actually good for the fishes. But they, the wild ones, can they they contain a lot of bacteria, maybe even like other other different chemicals. So I don't recommend it, but. If you, if you have enough knowledge and skills and years of experience, then you can definitely do it because you, you trust yourself and you have good knowledge. But you know, having these fish tanks decorated with wild items from the campgrounds or the beach, wherever you go, I'd recommend just going to the pet shops and get whatever that's sanitized and ready for the fish tanks. Because those are actually properly treated and you can literally put them right out the bag. You don't have to wash them or rinse it. Most of them says you can literally put them right out the bag and if you see videos then you'll probably see them just dumping those in and that's the reason why they just dump it in without rinsing or washing because they're already medicated properly and treated properly. So this tank has many different things like rocks, wood and plants, plastics to uh, no metals actually but uh, I have a couple of filters there. Those are mostly for aquatic stuff so I'm not too worried about it. But uh, make sure you read what you what you read about what you do and read about things that you don't know before you put anything in here and make sure because you don't want to you don't want to spend more money on things that you don't have to. 
when you start it correctly. And if you guys have any more questions regarding how to start off a new tank or how to set it up, what to use, what substrate, how substrate, when substrate, where substrate, whatever, just leave it down in the comment section and I'll try to answer those questions for you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.